And also, before we're going to move to a, a model in the fan, let me also show you. If I'm going to go ahead and click on Perspective View and then go to Rendering and click Render, I can render this. And then I can, uh, using the Orbit Sub Object Tool, I didn't discuss this yet, click on this icon right here. I can rotate my camera in 3D space, uh, my camera view like so. And then go ahead and click Render again and click Render you can see I'm rendering it okay so you got an idea right if I wanna render let's say this like so I can using my orbit tool this guy right here put it wherever I want it and then click on pen view and uh, get the camera where I want it and then go to rendering render and I'm going to see that exactly that thing why it's a little bit black um, right here polygons those black and it's not over here why because I don't have the light yet on the scene and it's normal um, we're not going to uh, discuss the light and texturing during this uh, video course I'm hoping I'm going to release two more videos so don't um, miss them out subscribe all right so you got an idea right uh, to be able to unselect this uh, polygon uh, my suggestion to go ahead and click on this double click on the polygon and it's going to unselect it so now you can uh, move the whole object instead of the whole uh, the polygon okay because nothing is selected here so if you want to move the whole object into G space you want to make sure that you uh, have unselected all those properties selections such as vert vertex edge border polygon and element you want to unselect it and then you can move Fill it without no deformation your object in 3D space and place it wherever you want using the uh, move and select tool right here. Okay, I also then uh, discuss uh, the rotation tool in 3D space. Right, right here using my orbit uh, sub object tool, I'm rotating the camera but not the object. It's look like it's rotating the object, but object still at at same X Y Z but I'm rotating my camera to rotate the object in 3D space I'm going to use this icon right here which says select and rotate I'm going to go ahead and click and select and rotate and now you can see that um, coming that kind of funky thing and now I can rotate my object in 3D space you can see that this one is changing by Y I'm rotating by Y over here and it's changing the co coordinates if I'm going to go ahead and minus two something that eight three six my coordinates for y axis if i'm going to go ahead and click zero and click enter it's going to position exactly at zero as we were before you can also rotate by x axis you can see over here is changing and to bring it back you're selecting this uh, values putting new values click enter it's going to bring it back and the blue one in perspective is going to be my z and you can rotate in Z so you learn now how to rotate the object in 3D space you can also the scale object in 3D space make it bigger or smaller to do so or just uh, to do so you're gonna click on the select and uniform scale tool right here on this icon when it's selected you can uh, scale and make it larger smaller your object in a different ways uh, let's say in different scale your object in a different uh, views do not scale your object in perspective because I'm not suggesting to do so let's go to the top view and learn what kind of abilities we have the big uh, triangle yellow triangle um, if you're gonna put your mouse over it going to scale the whole object in X Y and Z this uh, the, 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 the this one the bigger one that was the smaller one triangle and the bigger triangle which which will scale only in X and Y in the top view uh, port which it says in my coordinates see that if I wanna scale by X and uh, by Z and Y I'm going to switch to left uh, viewport and using the big large triangle like over here I can do so like so okay you can also select an object select let's say it's uh, polygons and uh, scale the polygons individually like so and it's also going to change the um, properties and shapes of the object to the object or model you can call it as model as well okay you can also rotate uh, the single polygons or multiple polygons using the select and rotate tool right here click on it 
make sure it's selected and then you can rotate also um, changing the shapes of the object okay and you can see it's changing over here the values uh, coordinates okay so you basically just learn how to um, using uh, use uh, the user interface of 3ds max and uh, basics um, how to use it how to rotate how to control the camera and what is basic 3d actually uh, when you're working with 3ds max let's go ahead and uh, move now to the video where you're going to learn how to model uh, computer fan step by step as you saw on the picture all right i will see you in a little bit all right folks welcome back and now what i would like you to do i would like you to go ahead and if you follow the tutorial uh click on this icon right here and it's going to say new scene or click on this big icon and click on new and it's going to say uh, the scene has been modified you want to change it you're going to select no or you can just close 3d max and reopen the 3d max again it will do the same effect okay now we start from the scratch we started from the scratch and uh, let's go ahead and uh, get going first thing what we're gonna do we're gonna create the base as we discussed in the, this video tutorial before I'm going to go ahead and click on create uh, left, uh, my left um, left mouse button click on it and then make sure I'm on the geometry make sure that standard primitive selected I'm going to go ahead and click box and as you already learned watching this tutorial I'm going to click on my top view port, uh, click on my mouse button and just scroll it. Uh, scroll my mouse and uh, where I want it like like so and then create some uh, height like so. Okay, the next thing what I'm going to do, it doesn't matter which, it shouldn't be perfect. The next thing what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and click on modify and now I can modify this box it's going to out, it's going to automatically select it for me okay and um, let's go ahead and uh, create length uh, 150 uh, width uh, 150 so it's going to be perfect square because we have perfect square in our uh, perfect square base in our fan and fan is going to be in the middle so you got an idea right our fan is going to be in the middle and the height is going to, let's go ahead and create height like 25 like so okay the next thing what you want to do um, you're going to go ahead and put your mouse over the box over here right click on it and uh, you're going to go ahead and convert the box into the editable poly as you already learned it will give you ability to modify this primitive you're going to click on it and here we go uh, you're going to see the edges and uh, it's going to like be textured in a blue color or red or green whatever is in your case it doesn't matter if it's going to be different color if you don't see the edges as you already learned what you're going to do you're going to click on your perspective view port right click on the smooth and highlights and you're going to look for a aged faces you're going to go ahead and make sure if you don't see it it's going to look like this you want to go ahead and make sure select it like so okay all right the next thing what you want to do uh, the next thing what we're going to do we're going to create the cylinder and uh, create the cylinder and with that cylinder we're going to create the hole inside of this base uh, cube or base box let's go ahead and uh, click on create and make sure we are at the geometry make sure the standard primitive selected and we're going to go ahead and click on cylinder okay in our uh, top view uh, viewport you're going to somewhere place it in the center of the box or uh, this cube and uh, with your uh, left mouse button click and then slide and then release it about like so okay and then um, again slide you're going to create some uh, height for that cylinder okay now we have the cylinder now I would like you to go ahead and click on modify and we're going to a little bit reshape that cylinder of its property to the way we want it 
let's go ahead and don't worry where it's positioned yet it doesn't matter let's go ahead and hide segments let's use the hide segments we're going to use uh, two actually one we don't need too much polys and you're gonna see that we're not going to have those edges over here okay uh, uh, slides uh, let's go ahead and use slides um, 128 and you're going to see we're going to have a lot of those edges around it means that our cylinder is so perfect it's you're not going to see the um, hard edges on it let's go ahead and move our cylinder using uh, the select and move tool click on it and then in our front view we want to click on the front view with our right button so it's selected then using uh, the zoom tool click on the zoom tool we want a little bit zoom out and then go back to click back to the select the move tool now we can position uh, the cylinder in the 3d space where we want it by the y-axis we're gonna just move it to the top a little bit like so okay and the next thing what we're gonna do we're going to use some select and uniform scale tool click on it and uh, scale it by y in front view port by y axis like so make sure it's bigger than uh, our base uh, box okay the next thing what we want to do on the cylinder we would like to click um, right button and we want to create editable poly so we are going to move the cylinder as editable poly. The next thing what we want to do, we are going to go to the top uh, viewport. And folks, just try to understand what I'm doing over here. So basically, I created the cylinder to create a hole inside of this base, of the fan base. So it's going to be a hole inside of it. Um, the next thing what I'm going to do, I'm going to position the cylinder perfectly between uh, so it's going to be in the perfect coordinates uh, around my 3D uh, base box of my fan. So I'm going to go ahead and click select the move tool. Gonna right click uh, to my top uh, viewport. So I'm going to work with the viewport. If you double click, or right click in a, any port, it will give you some options. Just click somewhere else, uh, and it will disappear. Okay, and kind of going to move it when it's going to be kind of even to my box uh, base of my fan like so right so now it's even and let's let's call it like so uh, the next thing what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and click edit and I'm going to go ahead and click clone and I'm going to go ahead and say copy when you're cloning and selecting copy, it's just going to copy uh, the color, the textures, the uh, coordinates, uh, the scale of your object, 3D model. If you're going to select instance or reference, it just reference is just going to copy it. And in the future, when you're going to modify the uh, main um, object, it's also going to modify automatically the copied object for you we don't want that so we're going to go ahead and click copy so we can work with every single clone by itself it's going to be by itself without no child when you're going to select the reference what will it will do this is going to be a, a parent and another one which is we're going to copy going to come out create it's going to be a child and it will be totally dependent of the parent means that if we're going to change the texture or color or anything else uh, it will change uh, on a child as well automatically so we don't want that we want to do copy and we want to work with individual objects the way we want it I'm gonna click copy I'm gonna click OK and uh, the next thing um, what we're gonna do uh, we just copy it but we don't see it there is two objects here it says cylinder 02 what we wanna do we wanna 